Okay, question 16 um, is using the trig identities. It says prove that tan theta plus 1 over tan theta is identical to 1 over sine theta cos theta. Now, uh, first of all, you need to remember the, the two trig identities. You've got to learn these. First one is tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta. And the other one is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. Okay, uh, what you can do with these ones, you can either work with the left hand side and show that it equals the right hand side, work with the right hand side and show that it equals the left hand side, or you can work on both and just make them balance. I'm just going to look at the left hand side and try and make it equal the right hand side. So, looking at that, We've got the tan theta here equals sine theta over cos theta, so I'll just substitute that in each term. Um, so we've got sine theta over cos theta plus 1 over sine theta over cos theta. Now, when it's this one divided by the fraction, what you can do is take it to the top in the numerator and switch it upside down. So you've got sine theta over cos theta plus cos theta over sine theta. Now look at the right hand side here, it's one term, sine theta cos theta. We've got two terms here, sine theta over cos theta plus cos theta over sine theta. To make it into one term what we need to do is sort of cross multiply, put these two together and put this up to here and this up to here. So we get on the top sine theta times sine theta which is sine squared theta plus cos theta times cos theta is cos squared theta and they go together to make cos theta sine theta. Now looking at the other identity we've got this sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1 and we have that on the top, on the numerator here. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1 over cos theta sine theta, which is the same as sine theta cos theta. So that is it proved. And that's it.